Hi, Sirius Rius here, back with another Realm Grinder video, episode 71. And it's been, well, not that long since last episode. I'm still in the Reincarnation 30, and I'm going to start getting new researches. So, you can see here, I can get up to 465. It actually gets me a trophy, Expert Researcher. So, research 2750 times across all fields. And it looks like, actually, off-camera, I unlock this research, which is increase the production of Dark Temples, based on offline production. So I guess that's nice. And then I got this, which is increased Royal Exchange bonus based on the amount of faction coins found in this game. And it's 43%, so that actually may may help quite a bit. Actually, I don't think it helps that much. It's, it's at 54%, so I don't think it, it's gonna help all that much. I mean, there may be things that are based on that. And then, oh, I've heard, I've heard about this one. C460 is extremely infamous, and I've heard you you should actually wait until later to get it, and it's, so, yeah, and then there's a spellcast one, so maybe I'll just start, maybe I'll start with this spellcast one, like, I feel like this is just cast as many spells as possible, so what I'm going, what I'm just going to do here is just have, have this spell be casting all the time, that should help me get to, like, more than 22% on this research, so, yeah, it's another time wall I just have to deal with, so yeah, see you in a bit. Okay, I, I'm back and I now finally have this research, so this is increase the production of all buildings based on the amount of times you cast your faction spell in this game. It's only 79%, so that doesn't seem like the greatest research, unless I'm using Combo Strike. That may be an okay build for that, and I yes, I realized I could have tried to go for higher mana regen, but I'm lazy. And I'm, I'm not going to go for this research. So, I think what I'm going to do here, I'm going to abdicate, and I'm going to be, like, let's say, Dwangel. Or not Dwangel, let's let's be Dwery. Which means Fairy, and then be... I, I think it's now okay to purchase the Enchanted Field, because I can still be the Dwarf. I can excavate for some of the faction coins that I need. So, here you go, Dwarf. Everything I here I need. Let's see what researches I can do. So I can get D435 and and E410. That that's about it. So it looks like I have to just have a bunch of buildings for this, and this require no, not that one. This one just requires um, spamming spells. So I think I don't really need a specific research build for this, except I think I think I do. Okay, the one thing I do want is that I would like something that gives me a lot of buildings and something that, that increases my mana regen a lot. So this is a good mana regen one, and this also gives mana regen. This is an even better mana regen one, so now up to 398 mana regen. If there, I know there's something here that like gives me more buildings. Here's a mana regen one that I'll... Okay, honestly, this is enough mana regen. I don't need 500 mana regen. Just, I just need to spam the spell. Just avoid spell duration ones. And I know there's something that will help me get more. Like, re reduce enchanted fields. Cost multiplier. I think I, mean, I need blacksmiths. There is reduced cost multiplier for unique buildings. So I could try to get that. Like, I need E187 coins. I'm actually really close to that. So maybe I, I'll cast some other spells. And that will allow me to get dwarven forges. Which is probably... Yeah, it's enough to unlock this. Which is increased the production of dwarven of all the buildings by 75% per Dwarven Forge Geome. So that may be decent, but it looks like I'm just going to have to spam this for um, Diamond Pickaxe. I almost want to use like that plus Moon Blessing, like be like if I'm Dwelf. But honestly, I can just wait. I've heard this research is just terrible, so I'm just going to... Actually, I really feel like this is the wrong faction to be in here. So... I, I'm gonna I'm gonna try I'm gonna try Dwangel. Except Dwangel's not gonna give me any of these, so okay, that's that's an even worse faction. Maybe instead I can be I, I'm I'm gonna try to be Dwelf. Actually, I'm not even sure if I joined the dwarves there, but Dwelf isn't giving me anything other than this. So I feel like maybe I should be an evil faction. So maybe um Droblins. Yeah, with Droblins I can get both these researches, so Evil Churches, that's probably... It's one of the evil buildings. I actually don't know which one that is. Um, maybe Necropolis or something. 
So I should probably go for that. And then, yeah, of course, there's that research. And then there's Combo Breaker, which is, I'm guessing, just spam Combo Strike for who knows how long. So again, I'm going to go for Mana Regen researches here. Like, they always help. And then, of course, I'll get the Reduce the Cost Multiplier. I think it's only for unique buildings, so it may not be the best one. But at least, if it, if it is Goblin Banks, uh, no, it's not Goblin Banks. So I should probably go Goblin here. Maybe I should get some, like, production researches. I'm definitely going to go Goblin here because I'm going to need enough buildings. I'm not even sure how many buildings I need, but it seems like a lot of buildings. Probably here. It's maybe Dark Temples. I'm not sure. I'm not... I, I don't know if it, if I need for, like, this combo breaker thing. If it's not just, like, a bunch of combo strikes. Like, I'm not sure if you're even allowed to break this combo. But I'm just going to do it now so I can... Try to get the rest of these upgrades. And maybe that will give something. There it is. This is increased production of all other buildings by 95% per Spider Sanctuary own. So yeah, it must just be the Spider Sanctuary. So I think all I need to do is now just spam Combo Strike for like forever. So that's what I'm going to be doing. So yeah, I'll see you in a bit. Okay, I'm back a day later and I have unlocked this research. This is passively grants the effects from Call to Arms while offline. And it was it was four hours combo strike cast time. So it, it wasn't it wasn't just cast, so it's just like a certain amount of hours. Interesting. And I'm not gonna go for this research even though I'm twenty percent of the way there. It's it's just ridiculous. It it's a million clicks. And I mean of course you can cast spells to do those clicks off like offline. It's still just like it's just a big time wall and I think there's another one of these researches a few reincarnations from now. I've heard, like, from the plot, I should try to go for some artifacts and a secret trophy called No Recruiting. Like, Stoic Resistance is nice to have, but it didn't label that as important. But new, No Recruiting was labeled as an important one to get. So, I, I should try to somehow get that. I will, I will get E290 so I can get more excavations because there's a bunch of artifacts and I'm apparently supposed to get at this point. So what am I, what am I actually going to do? I'm going to export my save and just try to excavate as many times as possible just to see what I can do. And I'm really not sure what I should be using. Like maybe, maybe what I can do, I can do all of this and then buy as many buildings as I can. And this should give me a lot more coins so I can excavate a few more times. doesn't look like I'm going to get any artifacts here though. And I will need to get some researches here. Probably, I should probably just go for production ones and spellcast duration. So, this is an amazing spellcast duration one. So, I'll probably get that. This is 8,000% production, so I should probably get that. And I'll look at some of the other things. This one, I think, is, yeah, it's 12,000%. And I know there's may, maybe some better ones, but... Seriously, like those those three, at least for this run, this is not gonna be like a real build because this is sort of based on like very long runs. I mean, I, I could make it a build, but it's also like I have some here that just increase mana regen. So I think D320 is a must, so I'll get that. And then this is just faction spells and doubling the duration of combos. No, actually, this just does nothing because the duration of combo strike cannot be modified. Sort of forgot about that. And then, yeah, this is the sort of RNG research. I may try to go for that. I feel like what I should do is just... This is only 120 assistants. I should probably get something like... Like, this is a good max mana, even though I'm not sure if I really need max mana. So, I feel like I should just go for something like... Like, just, like, some basic production. I've got this RNG research in hopes that it'll target the right building. And then maybe I'll get this spell duration one as, as well. And then this is unique buildings. The thing is, this is a unique building, so I should probably get that. I may not be looking at all these in that much detail, but again, this isn't, like, a build that I'm... build that I'm... that is going to be, like, saved for future reincarnations. So... Goblin banks are not really doing anything, so I should not go for it. Honestly, I should just I should just do craft memory search first. So here's a really good faction coin. Well, yeah, it's C400. So that's like the 
upgraded C250. So, actually, C250 was better. Whatever. I, I don't... I don't really care. It, it's a lot of faction coins either way, and also it's multiplicative 100% here, so that it's a little bit weaker, but this is like sort of going up very quickly while this is just staying the same. This is production bonus from gems. It's just multiplicative 190%. This is a production of all buildings based on research management. should probably get stuff like that. This is a lot of assistance, but not really sure if I if that's better than just increase like like the like I'm thinking like increase clicking reward here is just better and I feel like yeah just all that that'll allow me to get more coins and then let's see good and evil building that's very good because spider sanctuary is a evil building it's actually an even better one it's all evil buildings based on goblin banks and this is so powerful that I should probably I should probably get that I feel like that's one I should get a lot of these things here are a little bit weaker I feel like there's a bunch of strong production ones like this is three thousand percent so I should probably get that I think there's an even better yeah this is thirty four hundred percent so I I'm sorry if I'm not reading all these over like 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 I'm scrutinizing them but it's again this is not a build that I'm I mean I I may make it I don't know. I, I'm, I'm not sure. This build may... It's definitely suboptimal. It may be okay, but it's going to be suboptimal. So, going to Alchemy. This is just production of all their buildings by 85% per Goblin Bank you own. That is huge. Because now Spider Sanctuaries are going to be even more powerful. And here's another extremely powerful production one. I could get this, but it's not really all that useful. This is just all of our buildings for Spider Sanctuary. This is, this could be, this is an amazing faction coin one, because it's, 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 it's essentially copying the draw line, which is multiplicatively increase your chance to find faction coins based on time spent in this game, but I don't really need faction coins, so I'm just going to ignore that one. This is a good amount of assistance, but I'm not sure, I feel like some things made me better than, uh, yeah, look at this, this is huge, and then I should probably... Maybe I could get these assistants if there's not very good. This is a spell duration one, so I'll get that. I feel I feel like I should just get this is it's actually in, yeah this is extremely powerful. It empowers spider sanctuaries, um, based on whenever I cast a spell, and it's like extremely powerful. So it looks like this is this doesn't do much, and this is good, but there may be better ones. This is just non-unique buildings, so I don't think I should get that one. I feel like there's are there are better ones like this. This is huge. This is again a huge one. And then I feel like I should try to. Um, this one's very powerful, but there may be even better ones. Like I can see, I feel like the like this one is extremely powerful, and even like. Even this one's better than that, so... I mean, there's also... There's also... Actually, there isn't really all that much else. Actually, yeah, I should get 405. I can get one more, actually. So maybe... Well, there's a random trophy, Coin Universe. This build actually may be doing a lot. I can get E117 gems, so... It, this is far from optimal, but... This build is obviously doing something, if, if I'm getting this much here. So maybe I should just... I'm thinking I should just get this one. This is the best research to get here. And this allows me to get a lot of buildings. Yeah, I knew I was going to get some trophies for 5,000 of some of the buildings. I also got the Overgrinder trophy, which is this one. Build 50,000 buildings, I think, in a single game. And yeah, the next one looks like it's impossible for now. But it looks like I can get to the next reincarnation, except I probably want to get as many excavations as possible. So, I'm just gonna buy smart here. That gets me up to 3,000 and I still can't do anything with this. Weird. I thought I was gonna, I'm at well over 3,000. I need 3,500 to actually reset excavations. Apparently I'm supposed to get some artifacts that, again, there's no hint for them. I don't think advisor is gonna help me. 
Remember to excavate from time to time. You may find new powerful artifacts. I've just excavated as many times as I can. Well, actually, I can do a few more. But that's all I can excavate. I can't excavate any more than that. Or I can, I can a little bit, but not all that much more. So I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I will actually save this as a research build. It's definitely suboptimal, but it's it's doing okay. It'll it seems like it'll get me to at least reincarnation 32. So that's that is definitely something. I'm just gonna do Droblin Research Build One. Again, I seem to be in like the same predicament as like a few episodes before. I don't know. I don't know how to get these, like these artifacts. Like I've excavated as m much as I can. I'm, I'm I'm at R gems, so I don't know. I don't know what I'm what I'm doing wrong. Apparently, like it's not that I I don't even have the artifact. It doesn't even tell. It doesn't give me any hints on how to do, get these artifacts. It's probably like a quest artifact that I'm missing, or at least one of them. There's actually two that I'm missing, and one is apparently more important th than others. At the very least, this build is going to... It's its not a rush build like my usual builds. It's an It Grows Over Time build, because it's its draw and it uses Combo Strike and all that. So it may, it may be useful. I'm even using a suboptimal bloodline here. I could definitely use, like... Like, instead of Goblin, I could definitely, I could use, like, Titan Line or Dwarf Line or something else that will give me a lot more. Even, like, Druid Line is, is, could be potentially very powerful. I, I still think Titan Line would be better. Like, I really hate, like, going to the Discord on, like, how, how am I get these art, how do I get these artifacts that I have, like, no clues for... I can, I can use actually a different website for the no recruiting trophy. Also, I feel like this no recruiting trophy is... There's actually a hint, the name, and actually I've seen its picture, and maybe that's also a hint. Like, I sort of wish it would give the pictures before you, you got them for the secret trophies, because that would give you another hint. What I feel like I'm going to do at this point is I'm just going to abdicate, and I'm going to try to go for this trophy next episode. And I'm not really sure how I can get these artifacts. So, yeah, hope you enjoyed. Peace out.